Hello, I'm Gary Brantner of Rent Arp Studios Comics, and this is my basement where I do reviews on the things that I think you should know about, tell you where you to get them, things like that. Um, right now I'm doing it in my basement. As you can see, I've got paint on my hands. Um, I've been painting a room upstairs that's soon to be my office, so uh, that's going to be a new thing. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Uh, all my Kickstarter backers, uh, your packages are sent out. I'm going to be sending you a tracking number tomorrow in the messages, so you should be expecting that soon. That way you can track where your pins are, where your comics are, and uh, you'll be getting them in the mail soon. Um, I'm really happy with uh, the support I got from my Kickstarter for pins, and uh, I'm really happy with the pins I got too and I can't wait to do that again next year. Probably a Peter Pan the Vampire pin, something like that. Uh, I really like putting my Peter Pan on things. This is a mug from Redbubble of my Peter Pan. So let's get into the uh, reviews here. First up on my reviews is a comic that I found back when I had a Kickstarter. I found these guys on Kickstarter. This is Starside issue three, and Starside Starside issue three is by Dylan Klein, Lane Brent Schneider, and art and lettering by Jordan Chow. So uh, Starside, it's got some seriously amazing art in it. I love to uh, how none of the panels have borders on them so that's pretty cool they're just all the white negative space but the art is amazing um, kinda sticks to a specific color palette so that's kinda that that's not how I work uh, but it's something I would like to uh, practice more of get better at but as you can see really good art um, it's a regular page. It might even more be more than 24 pages, but it seems like I read it so fast. It was just, it was so fast paced, so compelling, and I cannot wait to uh, get the next issue, which I have just backed the fourth issue on Kickstarter. It is live right now. Um, let me see here. Open up phone. It says it's going to be ending on August 13th, so you can check out. Starside issue three. What this is issue three. Oh shoot. Well you can get this issue right now on Kickstarter. How did I get it? Hmm. Huh. Alright, Starside issue three, which I just read, is now on Kickstarter right now. Um I, I don't know. I expected the uh, Kickstarter to be for four. Sorry about that. Um so yeah, Kickstarter for Starside issue 3 is up right now. I just reviewed it for you, showed you some of the pages. Oops. Hope uh, that's okay, guys. Um, but yes, I'm a backer on that one already. So check that one out. Get in on board that one. And uh, yeah. Um, next up on my list is Love University issue 2. Love University issue 2 here. It is from Class E Comics and it is created by Allison Cheney Whitmore story by Allison Cheney Whitmore art by Carola Borelli colors by Agnes Poza letters by Roberta Roberto Megna and edited by Marcel Dupree which uh, Marcel Dupree, that name might sound familiar to you if you've uh, been reading Le Fay. And there's something else, but I can't think of what it is right now. Anyway, uh, there, Marcel Dupree is uh, CEO of that one I can't pronounce, Evoluzuin Publishing. Anyway. Love University. It's got some awesome art in it. That's the thing I like about Love University. Uh, it's just kind of simple but dynamic. 
well, not really simple, it's just not heavily lined as, uh, you know, like Jim Lee or Greg Capallo kind of art. It's just drawn and colored. So, but the story is about um, a girl that goes to university and then she finds out that she's a Cupid and ends up in a university for Cupids. And so she is learning the ins and outs of that uh, mystery world and whatnot. And, uh, yep. And there is a little shocker at the end of this issue where uh, she goes home to see her family and something happens that I've got to read the next issue to find out where it goes from there, so I won't spoil it to you. Um, but it's some good stuff. Uh, check out Love University. It is on Kickstarter right now, also. So it is going on Kickstarter till August 7th. And that is for issue three, the next issue after this one, not the current issue of this one. So those are my two reviews for you right now. Um, I just watched The Old, Old Guard on uh, Netflix. That is That was a pretty good show. Um, check that one out. Um, and what is also on Kickstarter right now is Paris 2119, A Deadly Dystopic Romance. And... Uh, it is going till July 23rd, so you only have like a week to get in on that one. So make sure you check that Kickstarter out. Paris 2119 is what it's called. And, uh, yeah, it's I like future stories a lot, so I jumped in on that. The artwork on that one looks amazing. And uh, what else is on Kickstarter right now is What They Don't Teach You in Art School. That one is from uh, a fellow Utahn named uh, Will Terry, I think. Let's see. This is not bringing up the information I wanted. Oh, yep, Will Terry. So this is what they don't teach you in art school is, uh, well, I'm, I'm always buying uh, books on how to better my craft. Uh, I have all the uh, wizard how to draw comics books, and pretty soon this week... Um, Terry Moore is releasing a How to Draw Comics, so I'm checking out that one too. I'm going to have my comic shop pick it up for me over in Gamers Asylum in Ogden. Um, so, oh yeah, that reminds me, I better do that right after I'm done with this video. Um, so, that's the end of my reviews. Do check out all those comics that I just mentioned. Um, Love University, Issue 3 on Kickstarter. And uh, Starside issue three, also on Kickstarter. Paris twenty one nineteen on Kickstarter, and what they don't teach you in art school on Kickstarter. Um, but yeah, uh, so it's just been a crazy summer right now. I've been extra busy getting my Kickstarter going and um, doing things around the house, trying to get a loan to finish this house, and um, I've got to get all this stuff all my comic stuff moved up to my office so that's gonna be awesome um, I, I'm excited I just painted the walls I've got a desk coming got some shelves coming for all my comics all my Funkos and as you can see here let's see it is a mess right now I've all my comics I'm putting them in these uh, clear totes they're perfect for doing comics and so that's a wrap I'm going to cut it right here so you guys be careful be safe I'm going into the weekend right now um, so I've got to go back to work and that's all I've got for you bye